Hey, what is going on YouTube? This is Robert and today I am bringing you to the first drop list for the season being spring summer 2024. Now obviously with it being week one or week zero, whatever you want to call it in the end, there are going to be a lot of items, there are going to be a lot of issues and everything else that is just all encompassing that comes with the first week of Supreme. Now typically there are going to be about 60 to 75 items so obviously I'm not going to go through every single one but I will just be picking out the ones that I like or the ones that are like honourable mentions I suppose at the end of the day but yeah let's just jump straight into it, get straight into it. I've seen mixed reviews for this season which I can completely understand, I can get behind, I get people's views and yeah a lot of people are just going to be waiting for the collaborations which you know I get it I understand it I've been there I know uh, but yeah let's just go through everything go through it let me know what your favorite piece is from this season as an overall or what you're going to be going for this week and yeah let's just jump straight into it okay so we are back obviously let's go through and get into it I don't know if this is too bright or not I'll adjust it for the next time whether I need lighting on or what have you but for the time being I think it's going to be perfectly fine so let's jump straight into it and go through it uh, the first item for this week or the free item for this week which is going to be the gift is going to be the silly straw uh, I've seen a few mock-ups and different designs that people have put in general but overall they want it to basically spell supreme uh, We'll have to see, you know, whether or not it's that or it's like a literal straw with like a box logo on it and that's it. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, following that, we've got the Haynes Boxer Briefs, grey, cool, different colorway choice to go with. So yeah, uh, one of the pieces that I'm more so interested in for this week or out of the next three, to be honest, would be the first gear truck. This is just dependent on the retail for it. If it's nice, easy, you know, just simple, then I'll go for it. I think it's cool. Uh, personally, I'd probably grab the black colorway. I think it just looks best as an overall. White with the red, cool. But yeah, I just think that's the best one. The more unique one's going to be like the lime green. Uh, following on from that, it's either, you know, the truck or the Maradona tea or the future of box logo tea. One of them. That's it, plain and simple. Maradona T, I think it's really cool. It's it's great and yeah, I know that a lot of people want it at the end of the day uh, because it's Maradona, so why not, you know? Uh, the Futura Box logo T, same sort of thing. Uh, Futura Box logo, that's quite cool. I know that there have been some, you know, little picks at it, I suppose, just because of the fact of like the layout or the way that it looks. But overall for me personally, I think it's great. It's simple and it's one of the first box logos that we've had. Uh, that's actually got like a back graphic to it. Wow, this is not loading. Well, I will have clicked on it uh, on Supreme Community, but clearly it doesn't want to load. Uh, but it's got back text to it, which we don't really get. We only really get those for store opening uh, tees. So yeah, like that's a big bonus, realistically. So I would like to see what the other colorways look like, but that's basically it. You know, I'd like to see other things. Personally for me, I think that's probably just going to be like the black colorway that will stand out the most in the Maradona piece. Futura, a little bit different, but still I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, what the other colorways will look like with it. From there, we have a couple of different pieces ranging from the Mac Tools tote tray, the Have a Hank bandanas, uh, which is a pack of three, onto the big logo Chanel Varsity jacket. In the red and black colorway, I saw a lot of people pick this piece out because they really liked it, obviously. You know, I still think it's a nice piece, but I just don't know about the middle uh, material in the end. That's it for me. That's the only thing that I just don't know about. I think the massive spell out is great, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, if you do end up getting a Varsity jacket from Supreme, keep in mind it is extremely heavy. Uh, from having one in the past so yeah if you're looking to wear it just keep that in mind it's got a little bit of weight to it it's kind of like their hoodies so yeah we've then got the Rolf T, uh which i think is great as well i think this colorway is probably one of the more standout ones for it um i know that black colorway white colorway you know so on and so forth are typically the most popular ones when it comes to them but personally for me i do really like this one that's also another piece it's probably out of like those four being the truck the t the t or the t for me and it would be one of them that I'd be going for. I do have way too many t-shirts and articles of clothing in the end, which I need to sort of get rid of or give, you know, to charity and such, uh, because of the pure fact that if I'm not wearing it, it could go to better use elsewhere. But at the same time, buying more clothes sometimes seems like a dumb idea if I'm not wearing those. So yeah, from there, we've got the CDW uh, Delta uh, Carabiner, followed by the Rooted Box Logo Skateboard and the Hanes Socks. Uh, yeah, I... I, why'd I click on it? It's not going to load. So, is this the type of thing I'm still confused on? Because I thought the carabiner was the type of thing that's like someone clipping rope or something or using it as like a little extra loop or something. I don't know. If someone can explain, 
that would be amazing because I really don't know. As far as this box logo is concerned, I haven't really seen anyone talk about it, I'm not gonna lie. Percy for me, it's cool-ish concept, but maybe if it was at the halfway point instead of being towards the lower third, it might have got a bit more traction. But yeah, crew socks, grey, cool, simple. I'm sure people are going to get them. To be honest, I could probably get them instead of what I'd be looking for because grey socks I, I wear quite a number of. So yeah. Uh, we then have the collegiate hoodie followed by the shoulder bag and the mini duffel bag. Bags have not had a great reception. I've seen a lot of people not really be fans of them. Personally, I still think that it's either just going to be the camo or the black colorway. More so the camo just because of how the reflective aspect comes into play. But yeah, that's it. For the collegiate hoodie, uh, I kind of like the green and the grey and the black. That's about it. Head shears. I was speaking to my brother about these purely because of the fact that I was just like... When it came to the crowbar, you know, it's kind of stupid for people to do it. But at the same time, it's like that dudes being dudes or people being people type thing where it's like... Hell yeah, I'll have a crowbar, you know. Shears, like, come on, really? Like, with the retail that they almost probably have as well, it's kind of just, like, the thing of, just find something more affordable for it and they could then be useful instead of people just buying them and sitting them on the shelf, you know. I don't know, maybe it's me. Uh, we then have the Futura Skateboard, the Mechanics Leatherwork Gloves, the Supreme Crew 960 and the Backpack. Backpack. I go to my previous uh, opinion. Mechanics, I'm not really a massive fan of. The Futura, I'm kind of hit or miss on too as well. Uh, and I think the Crew tee is fine. So we then have the Gore-Tex Anorak, the Patchwork tee, the Futura sweater, and the washed canvas boonie. Um, nothing of note from me personally. I do like this blue colorway, but that is pretty much going to cover it. We then have the Gradient Space Dye Beanie, the Hanes tee, obviously, and the waist bag with the small box hoodie. I like this uh, sort of camo tree uh, colorway that is going on uh, throughout this season. It's used like three or four times. It's just my thing. Beanie could go crazy like the prior one, but I think that the prior one was more limited in the material uh, that was used for it and bag refer to my previous statement. We have the Gold Cross S logo New Era with the Futura Fishtail Parker, the Faux Fur Jacket and the Shadow Tee. I'm not a massive fan of this tee, I'm not gonna lie. The Faux Fur is quite unique. Uh, the Fishtail I think is great in olive or black. Uh, it's kind of, the legibility goes a bit on the text on the back, but it is what it is. Gold Cross, not really my favourite, not gonna lie. We then have the overdyed beanie with some very unique colourways uh, being used on it. The versatile uh, down puffer jacket, which I think is kind of okay. Uh, black colourway, you don't really get the most out of it when you're reversing it, but with the other two you do, but I just think that the olive colourway is the better one uh, as a whole. We have the 99 long sleeve football top also dropping, which I love the white colourway too, uh, and the St. Sebastian long sleeve tee. I don't really have a lot to say for the tee, I'm not gonna lie, so we can move straight on to the wash chino twill camp cap, the small box long sleeve tee, the tote bag, and the duffel bag for the bags. I just refer back, that's it. Uh, the wash chino and the small box, I don't really have anything to note to say. So we can move straight onto the Hanes uh, tagless tank tops, the Widow Dave corduroy uh, camp cap, the satin hooded track jacket and the baggy jean. For the satin piece, I like the black and the navy colorway, but that's about it. Baggy jean and the same as the following with the regular jean, the stonewash slim selvage jean. There's nothing really to note for me to say. They're just nice different colorways that they have chosen. The cinch bag is going to be the same thing as the previous bags. The cashmere sweater, I think it looks quite nice. Uh, colorways would be the royal or the black for me personally. I do like green tones, but that would just be my personal preference. We can go straight onto the football zip up hooded sweatshirt, which I think is okay, but probably in the black colorway. The brown is nice too, but the orange tone is a bit off for me personally. Uh, the rigid slim selvage jean is going to be next. Uh, which is included twice over. Anyway, uh, we have a different colorway for the Spitfire shop wheels this season, uh, which is cool, you know. I wish that they'd mix up different colorways or different tones or gradients uh, for people, but you know, it's just one of those things. We have the standard tee, which is definitely not uh, my favorite at all. And yeah, I would say the last couple of pieces, but there are quite a few. So we've got the small box sweat pant, the chino pant. Yeah, again, I like the colorway. It's just how I how I feel. I really do like it. Uh, the Champagne Cordroy 5 panel. I really like the sort of teal tone. And I like the blue tone for it. Uh, the Jacquard Stripe Hooded Sweatshirt. 
isn't really my favorite but the black colorway looks best the stonewashed black slim jean and the cargo pant yeah again just like season standards and staple pieces that we get uh, nothing really crazy for me to pick out we have the quilted flannel snap shirt the wash corduroy zip up shirt uh, the spread zip up hoodie but a piece that actually stands out that i'm still kind of like iffy on i guess is the way to phrase it, it would be the brushed argyle zip up vest i've seen so many comments for this left colorway that people are wanting to go for it and grab it which i can kind of understand because i prefer it over the right colorway but i just don't know how i feel about a zip up vest in the end i don't know maybe it's just me with the material is how i feel just weird about it but yeah a lot of people have their eye on it so yeah now we just have the last couple of pieces which is going to be the paint long sleeve top the university short sleeve top the small box shirt the independent truck Blur soccer jersey, six short sleeve top, jackyard stripe, sweatpant, New York six panel, and then the last three below. Personally, there's nothing of, to note like massively uh, with these. I do like the blue tone of the New York uh, arc six panel. Other than that, I don't think it's anything crazy. The purple that they have chosen for this season, I do think is really stand out and great across the board. Uh, this is a deeper tone of it, but I still think what they've gone with is great. Yeah, there's nothing really to note past that. For the last couple of pieces, we've just got the twill patch five panel, the Gore-Tex pan and the satin track pan. Nothing to note, so yeah. Uh, that is going to cover this video, basically. As per norm, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below, what you're going to be going for, what you're looking forward to, whether or not you're going to be going in store or not. And yeah, I don't really have much else to say. Just realized how far over this shirt was like off my neck. Maybe I'm not in center, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that is going to cover it, like I said. So let me know what you're going to be going for, what you want, what colorway, what size, or accessory. And yeah, if anything, I'm going to be going for one of these four, four now, uh, or it might just be a pair of like Hanes socks, just plain and simple, because you can never do with enough. And I've got so many that just need to go, like they've reached their end point. But yeah, that's going to cover it for me. So I do hope that you have a good rest of your day and I will see you all next time. Peace.